Home automation, guys, that futuristic idea that everything in your house will be automated, whether it's by motion sensors or remote controls or even something like a smartphone or a tablet with intelligent rules for everything that happens. Today, we're going to be checking out Insteon's line of home automation products, which seems to me like a pretty bright idea. Unlike one of the other solutions we looked at in the past, the Insteon solution does not involve Wi-Fi. So it's using radio frequency and power line. These are redundant and are intended to be a failover for each other. And another unique thing about their approach is also the fact that every device acts as a repeater node, which means that no signal can be lost because a signal will get repeated no matter what, anywhere from one to three times. So every device on the entire network grid is going to get that signal. This is also cool because it allows nearly unlimited numbers of devices to be installed. Up to 16 million devices are supported on a single network. So the question you might be asking is what do you need to get started? Now, you don't have to do your whole home. However, the idea of all these little kits is that you could outfit your whole home for a few thousand dollars or a new home installation or whatever else you want to do. But no matter how big or how small your installation, you're going to want to start with a starter kit. So the starter kit has the Insteon hub. That's the one that you can use to control everything else and integrate everything really well. It includes a dimmer module, which is a plug you plug into the wall that has two more plugs that allow you to control devices attached to it as dimmers, as well as a range extender. So you can add all kinds of other cool stuff, including motion sensors, things like door and window sensors, more dimmer modules, security cameras, range extenders, switches including dimmers, on off switches, different styles of switches and we are going to take things off site today to show you how this works in the real world. Installation is fairly simple if you have some knowledge of electricity and how to wire a house. Otherwise guys please get an electrician to help because you can be seriously hurt working with AC current. The first thing you'll probably notice about my Insteon smart home is the fact that when I come in the front door laden with the newspaper that I have freshly collected and a baby that I have freshly collected, I don't actually have to turn on my hall light. It turns on by itself with a motion sensor triggered event that sees me come through the front door and turns on the light for me for a few minutes. I can override it by turning it on more permanently or I can just let it time out when I walk away from the motion sensor. By replacing the light switch in my living room with a keypad dimmer switch, I can control not only just the lights in this room using the on-off functionality, but also up to four other scenes because of the way that Insteon devices communicate with each other. So for example, by activating scene B, I can turn the lights on in my dining room, living room, and my front hallway, which illuminates my entire living space right here. I can also walk away from it and sit down to enjoy some television. So here I got sit down, turn on my TV, get my Frosted Flakes. This is how everyone enjoys movies, right? With a big box of Frosted Flakes. Oh crap, my lights are all still on. Now I can use the smartphone app to go ahead and activate my movie time scene, which is not actually tied into the scenes there. So these are separate scenes you can set up, control anything in the house, and I go, okay, let's turn movie time scene off, and we are ready to enjoy. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just doing some reading before bed. So let's say you don't want to wire up your entire home with in-wall devices that are Insteon and talk to each other and all that stuff. There are other options. I have two nightstands here, one of which is running off of a dimmer module that you just plug into an existing wall socket and I can have that light go on, off, or anywhere in between, which is very cool. Or if you don't even want to go that far or you don't like the idea of having bulky things sticking out of your wall, you can go with an Insteon light bulb. This is an LED bulb that has all the same wireless communication that all other Insteon devices do and it's in the form factor of a regular bulb. So you can plug it into any existing light socket or light fixture and control it with an Insteon controller. Whether that is a built-in wall controller in another room, a smartphone with an app, or in the event that you go, oh, well, I'm in bed, I don't have my phone on me, you can use one of these handy dandy little controller devices. So while it's a bit of a stretch to be like, uh, I can't reach my nightstand, eh, and to use a remote for that, it's not that unrealistic to go, oh, well, the lights are still on in the room. Maybe I want to use my remote for that as well. 
Really, this kind of stuff comes down to the individual. If the idea of having like a space age home where you control everything from your phone and remotes and little consoles and you set up rules for walking into different rooms and timers and all that kind of stuff, if that appeals to you, you're gonna love this stuff. I mean, high, a high technology light bulb. There hasn't been anything more exciting about a light bulb since the light bulb. It's not for everyone though. There is a cost involved, there is a setup involved, and for some people, they just prefer the simplicity of a switch. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.